maybe. Hats don't look good on me. He needs like another five margaritas before his. That's why I did it now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just started my second. <laughs> Alright, we'll I'll do it as it is, okay? And we are back between two yetis, Friday night at the Q bar, and it is Cinco de Mayo. Is that good? Okay, sorry, you have to cut this bit. And we are back with Tom Rowe from National Marine. How, How are, are you, sir? Nice to see you. So tell, we've just had Christine on. She told us a little bit about National Marine, but can right. you just, if no one's seen that, can you just tell us a little bit about what it is? Well, National Marine Suppliers, as you know, is a worldwide yacht supplier. We can do anything, anywhere, anytime. I mean, the standard lingo. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, are based on uh, several areas around the world. We have our obviously our office here in Fort Lauderdale. We have our store on the beach down in Bahia Mar. Mm -hmm. We have a location down in St. Martin, St. Thomas. We have a fueling office in Milan, Italy. And most recently, wow. we have an office uh, just outside of Fetch up in Holland, which was wow. a new build location for us where we would help out the new builds. Yep. But we now turn that over to operational boats. Huh. So what that means for our customers is everybody that we've been able to take care of in the United States and in St. Martin, St. Thomas, we're now able to do the same thing in the Med. Huh. That's fantastic. So we have we have an office staff there, which is supported by our office staff here in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. So we have gentlemen that go in early in the morning, obviously the time difference, check their emails, get everything going, place orders, our Holland office process them and ships them directly to the boat. Wow. I just went to Barcelona to the Meba show yep. and was spreading the word about it and it was widely accepted. So I would encourage anybody who actually deals with National Marine to touch base with us yeah. and see what we can do for them. That's amazing. So now you can pretty much support the boats anywhere in the world, right? Anywhere in the world. That these boats normally go. Right. And you know, you know the Met has always been a challenge with yeah. bad issues and different shipping issues and mm -hmm. customs, logistics. We've solved all that. That's fantastic. Because yes. was it before when boats left to go to the Med for the summer season, you'd kind of lose them? And we, they would shut off on us. Yeah. And we've, we've had this office in place, and we've you know had a few boats to deal with it back and forth, but primarily it was a new build yeah. uh, uh, scenario. Now it's full-blown operational, and uh, we're, we're ready to serve. What's next for National Marine? I mean, you guys are so big already, and you're pretty much involved with every boat I've ever talk to but I mean what's next after this this well, I, I think Europe? what I think what we need to do right now is is take a breath mm. take care of our customers yep make sure that they understand what we're doing is right our support system of 160 people in 160,000 square feet right here in Fort Lauderdale is amazing yeah and I would encourage anybody to, again to come in and check it out yeah most recently we opened a toy service center. Now that's what you're in charge of, right? Well, no, I'm, I'm the director of marketing and business development, okay. but part of my, my job is to get the word out. Mm -hmm. So we have this toy center, which is located across the street from us, 25,000 square feet. Whew. There is a toy shop there with all the goodies, all the fun stuff where you want to bring your owner and have them walk around. Most importantly, what we do is you buy a jet ski from me, you bring it in, I take it to that service center, I put lifting points in, I build a harness for it, I put battery chargers in, battery tenders, and when you get that, you start it up and ride it. Yeah. It's fully functional, 100% ready to go. We are a CBOB authorized service center. In addition to we do gel coat work, motor work, we have certified mechanics oh, for wow. Yamaha, Volvo, all on staff, on site. You pull in, you need service, we come there with trailers to your boat, take your, take your tenders to the nearest ramp, load them on trailers, take them to our service center, do all the service, repairs, whatever you want done, back on the trailers, back to the boat. Totally seamless to you. Huh. Done. Is that something that's been missing before? Like people it, it, would it, have it's to, been a huge an engineer chat. would have to call all these different places and Correct. get stuff and arrange done. for a tech to come out and who's going to pick up the boat. It's going to ten different places. We can pick up your jet skis, your sea bobs, your jet surfs, your tenders, whatever it is, and do everything for you. Wow, that's amazing. So how are you getting the word out there? Just going around telling them? To, to <laughs> people like you helping us out? Absolutely. You know, do, do, like I said, doing the shows, mm -hmm. uh, running ads, you know, boat to boat to boat to boat, meet the boat as soon as it gets in, let them know that we can do it, tell them before they get here that we can take care mm -hmm. of it. Whatever. And when you sell, like, because you said you had a toy shop attached to it, so right. when they sell it, do you just sell, like, service packages with it? And, like, Absolutely, yes. So it's just stuff that's custom to kind of, like, National Marine, right? Yeah? Right, you know, cool. and, and, and funny you say custom, we're doing fender hooks now, we're doing custom fenders, we're doing custom oh, wow. stainless steel, custom cradles, whatever needs to be done. All through that one facility. Is there anything you guys don't do? Uh, sleep. <laughs> 
Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> what's the? I asked Christine this earlier. What's the craziest request you've ever got from a boat? Uh, uh, someone's come to said I need a monkey or something. Uh, you know, I, I, I haven't personally done it, but I've heard the stories of provisions being dropped out of airplanes via parachute in remote areas of the islands in the Bahamas. Jeez. Uh, it's, it's not, I mean, it, it's actually standard procedure that we have a list of people around the holiday season mm -hmm. of who's getting on airplanes. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Anywhere in the world. We just had uh, a guy with four hours notice go to the Seychelles with a water heater element. Just a water heater? That's a long way. $38 part. <sighs> to the Seychelles? Which is what? Is it off the it. Indian Ocean? It's uh, two days away of flight, yes. Oh, yep. But he had to have it. Had to have it. Good Lord. Yep. But that's not uncommon though, right? That, that's, uh, that's standard for us. So do you kind of wish for the... Do you like the travel or you must obviously like it, but... I, uh, I do, as everybody knows, it sees me around. I do a lot of travel. Uh, I do enjoy it. Um, it's, it's what's needed for our company to yeah. get out there and have a face out there and Absolutely. You know, we didn't forget we're not just sitting there order takers and you know we do care we, we yeah, want to make proactive. sure we're, right, we, want it, we want feedback and you know good and bad and especially the bad we want the bad feedback mm. so that we can correct what we need to be doing how long have you been with National Marine now? Uh, going on seven years what, how did you get into the industry like this? were you a captain before? Or no, no I, was, or? I was your standard Walmart store manager okay for uh, a long time and then cool. Oh, okay. Came our store manager and then just decided to uh, make a change and was lucky enough to fall into this. Dean has been very supportive. Uh, mm -hmm. I went to work for a company that was a distributor or was a, a, a vendor for Dean. Mm -hmm. And uh, after about a year, we were talking and we just came to an agreement. And, and it's been it's been a great time. It's a, it's a good place to work. Great yeah. family. Um, Dean and Mary are awesome, mm -hmm. and uh, I wouldn't trade where I'm at for the world. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen you in Antigua at the Charter Show. You put on the fun, put on events everywhere. What's happened with the Fort Lauderdale event? Because that it was like the signature event that everybody. Yeah. Or did it just get too big and grow a life? It, it, it was or? kind of that. The, the last couple of years of it, we were like, do we really want to keep doing this? <laughs> I mean, there's a boat show going on at that time. Yeah, yeah. Very Absolutely. big and boat show. You probably show. put more effort into the party than you I, did. I put about 500 hours a year into the party, and Christine Ooh. as well. Wow. And uh, it was a total distraction. Yeah. It was a great event. Mm -hmm. Everybody loved it. Um, the venue did go down. Yeah, I'll see. Which did help us to make our decision to scale it back to what we have now. I don't. Do you know what we do now? Uh, you do like the white party now. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did a white party. Uh, there was about 400 people there, mm -hmm. um, and it was still for our uh, our charity, which is Florida Breast Cancer Association. Yep. Which we've raised in excess of 250 thousand dollars for. Very good. Over the past few years. It's very, very good. And uh, so we were still able to support the charity. And uh, uh, we had captains and high end crew and sponsors only there. Mm -hmm. So it really worked out. And we're going to do the same thing this year, but we're going to make it a little bit bigger. It'll be 500 people this year. I get you. That's, I mean, I remember when your party started back in the warehouse. That was. I mean, it was a handful. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they're, they're doing the right way. But uh, what's going to fill the hole now for after you've left? Is there anyone else going to come in and take up that mantle? If they want it, I'll, I'll, I, will pass <laughs> I will pass it, on the I will pass it to them, and good luck to you all. Right. Tom, thank you very all much right, for your time. Thank you. Thank and you uh, we will see you uh, at the next show. All right, great. Perfect. Perfect.